I want to put positive message out in the world. Mm -hmm. and not a we already have enough trouble, and I, and I really didn't plan that way. Plan just to give a nice gift to somebody to make them happy. That's it. Good to see you. Nice How place. You okay. Thank you. I'll show Still. you my offer. This is my my workbench back there. Okay. And um, this is Tom. He can actually make better than me. This is a updated polishing system. A single piece of jewelry can go through 17 different steps oh. before it goes to the table. So the most popular skill you have was the gold overlay <laughs> and it's famous in China. <laughs> Maybe so. not the most popular, but it's something very unique to mm -hmm. our company. Meaning that it's only a prototype testing. That's how it originally started. This is the flux, right? The piece that I'm going to heat up is completely covered with this material. The material will prevent the silver from burning. Provide the gold this way. And when the torch moves mm -hmm. back and forth, uh, we test with a temperature. It's between only 10 degrees. I'm curious why you would like choose a uh, happy face as an iconic design of BWL. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of funny story. So <laughs> there's another brand, you know, and their logo is <laughs> you or <laughs> off. And, and I was talking with my brother-in-law. How can a company make such a negative statement? And mm -hmm. it's very popular. People <laughs> buy it, you know. Um, I said I had an idea. I saw a coin that was cut like a happy face. Somebody gave it to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. And instead of a negative message, we wanted to share this with our friends, customers. We, I gave them as gift. It was kind of a joke about the other company. It kind of reminds me to have a positive attitude. It's just a daily reminder. I did something with a company. Their mascot or their, the one of their logos is an ape. So it was a little bit challenging, but when it comes to challenging, it was exciting. This is gonna be a little different than any other one I've done because it has moving parts, and I like it. I got this from you originally from by the email, and I got the company name and logo. I asked a lot of friends in China to help me explain, you know. I explain it's a really a huge company. <laughs> Yeah. It only make me kind of nervous. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I came up with this idea. So this is the the shape of the ape and with the Nixian like earthy style. But uh, it, in, in the normal ape has some skin and uh, hair. hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I want to try to make something that complements both these things. So I made a separate piece. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's different metals. I cut this out and then to make improvement or fill mistake, I added gold to fill it. I, I, I fill with gold because I think it, um, it brings good luck to the project. <laughs> For this concept, this happy face motif, I've never made the two pieces. Okay, we're just gonna show you some there are new designs with the shoes. So this is original design with these shoes. Uh -huh. And uh, also this can be removed to, to put them here. So you have to teach me more about how the shoe is 
put together so I can help with it. 跟鞋结合的话，那首先是我鞋的材料可能得选一些优质的皮革材料，同时银银的这个元素怎么去做点缀，让它是既有价值感，也不会太突兀。最后这个鞋，还是得服务于能穿搭，就我们希望它还是能被人穿在身上。You have different sole here, but probably everything you design is comfortable. Huh? Mm -hmm. Everything has the same kind of good feeling. Working with Vincent, I can help, but also we need to find out how to apply function. So yeah, I'm a very visual person, so this kind of is very easy way for me to understand. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs>